Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And I have some really great news. It's personal. I hope it's okay to tell you. And that is I was exposed to COVID and today I got my news that I am negative. I do not show any signs of having had or having coronavirus. I cannot tell you the relief. I was notified that I had been exposed, even though both of us were wearing masks and we were distant and followed all the protocol. I was really scared. I'm going to tell you, I was scared. I, uh, my mind went to places that I'm really embarrassed almost to tell you. And that is when I was buying shampoo and you could get a better price if you bought two bottles. And in the middle of that, when I'm trying to decide something that ordinarily would be so simple, I have this thing that goes through my mind. Well, Omna, if you're not here, you're going you're not gonna need two bottles if you're sick. And I know that just sounds crazy when I'm standing here and doing my talk with you and I'm thinking, my gosh, Omni, they're going to click off the button and think you're just walked out of your mind. And I thought I was doing pretty okay. I was functioning, doing my videos, preparing for my clients. And I thought I was doing pretty okay. And then one of those thoughts would flip by again. And it would just seize me for a moment. And in my bathroom, I had put a, a, a bottle of, of alcohol to disinfect and beside it was my thermometer. I lost count of how many times I walked in there to take my temperature. Now I know that some people do not have a temperature and somehow, you know, that was the only thing I had until my test came through. And in some areas, this is United States, in some areas, people can get tested, find the results in 24 hours. Where I am, it took five days. So I was exposed. It took me a day to get an appointment to take the test. Five days I'm waiting. And meanwhile, I don't know for sure. I know I don't have any blatant symptoms. I also know that every time my nose ran or every time I had just a slight of a headache, any time I felt like I had a little bit of a chill, things that ordinarily would just be there, all of a sudden got huge, just huge, when I put it into a context of what if I really do have COVID-19. And I kept in touch with my friend and he had a sore throat. His smell and taste left for a few days. He's doing fine now and so far. His test, of course, came back positive. 
And while I'm telling you the joy and the relief is just starting to sink in about my not carrying the virus, not giving it to somebody else, and that just maybe my wearing a mask, washing my hands, keeping the distance, and doing everything that I could helped me. And maybe it helped somebody else, I am hoping. And then in the back of my mind, while I am more grateful than I even can put on words, and if I seem not excited about it, it's because I'm, it, it hasn't quite sunk in, it hasn't quite filled the space of that worry and wonder that was going on. I'm very aware in my appreciation that seven million, it may be more now, people got their test results back. It was positive, seven million and counting. And while I am grateful that I'm not one of the 203,000 and counting deaths in the United States, I'm aware of those numbers. And I'm aware of when I told my family that I was okay and a few friends I was okay. I know that some people are not able to tell their family that. They don't know if they're ever going to be able to tell their family they're okay. Now I know that seven million people with testing positive do not calculate that all of them are going to die. However, what if some of them do? They belong to somebody. They have people, they have friends, they have businesses, they have jobs, they have co-workers, children. People at grocery stores that they chit chat with, people at the hardware store, vendors that they work with, with their business, the teams that they've developed. They won't be able to tell them I tested negative. I don't have an answer. I just know that the numbers keep going up and more and more cities are opening more and more up. Some of them are pulling back all the restrictions. They're not even monitoring that people wear masks anymore. I don't have an answer. The only thing I know is that nobody is seems in charge. We're all just, well, whatever your county wants, whatever your state wants, whatever the federal government may or may not say. Um, and I've had in other videos, and I am thoroughly convinced the only thing that we can do is get as much data as we can from as many sources that are science-based and do what we can. We're it. I know that sounds cold. It sounds so horrible. It sounds like, well, what about, what about, what about? I don't have an answer for the what about. All I know is 
I want you safe and I want your family safe and everyone around you. I want you never to have a COVID test and have it come back positive. Never. I can't control you and I'm not about to try. I'm not trying to fear monger you. I'm not trying to shame you. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just doing whatever part that I can do to remind you that you are important. Your story is important. And the legacy of what you leave behind is essential. Be the hero to yourself. Protect yourself. Value yourself. Maybe you're so busy that worrying about everything going on in your life that you can't even stop and think. And, well, Amna, what are you talking about? I just have to keep my life together. I know you do. I just want you to have a life to keep together. Even though right now it may not be the life you want. It may feel pretty awful. And I'm sorry for that part. And what I want is for you to be alive, to write your next chapter. Be your own leader. Be your own decision maker. Be your own mentor and your own guide. Be yourself in your circle as bold and brave as you can. Thank you, and I hope that if you are having a test, that you can have your results really soon and that it turns out negative. And meanwhile, be very careful in every way you can. Come back. You mean a lot to me, even though we haven't met. I know that you're important. Come back. I'll be here. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.